Got a little bit of noisy traffic here because I'm getting ready to enter Totem Park or the uh, Sitka Historical Park. This is a great big tree that uh, they sawed down years ago because it was blocking the parking lot. Anyway, they say it was about 700 years old. That's a big tree. Kind of just dropped it out there. Well, I'm gonna go out, head out now, and explore the park trail. Ah, weather's a lot better than it has been. It's kind of nice now. Well, we had a lot of rain. Oh, finally getting away from all the traffic. There's the old, the new bridge. I used to hike this trail a lot. Did a lot of videotaping here for animals, birds, eagles. And I used to hike all the loop trails when I was attending Shell Jackson College. If we get time, we might go off the other direction. Yep, well, for now on, we're going we're gonna to go down this direction here. Yeah, got a nice little little bench to sit on here. The river's starting to drop after being high from the rain. <sighs> well, looks like we've got a bunch of birds down here. Believe it or not, there's a trumpeter swan. And some other birds have stopped in here have a little bit of a feed before they head south. Some of them will stick around. We have about a dozen or so trumpeters that stay here in the winter. These two look like they're... My guess is I might be feeding on eggs left over from the spawning fish. That's probably what's going on here. I see mergansers up there diving too, so... Everybody's trying to get a some lunch this morning or breakfast. All kinds of birds up in there. They must have found something. Must be some dead salmon or a large accumulation of salmon eggs. Well, while I'm here, I guess I might as well confess my sins. <laughs> I used to do something pretty sneaky. <laughs> I used to go around collect a bunch of rocks like this. I'd take them home and I'd paint them gold. And then I'd go up on the bridge and I'd chuck them over the side of the bridge. I usually took about 10 of them so I'd keep count of them. I'd spread them out a little bit and come back once in a while and see which ones got picked up. It was a pretty nasty trick playing the tourists, but eventually all them little gold stones would get picked up and I have to put some more out. Anyway, <laughs> People thought, guess I guess they thought it was gold nuggets. Now yeah, those, those swans and stuff are still sitting up there feeding. Wow. They must have found a lot of something to feed on. Wow, sure, bright morning this morning. Nice and quiet around here today. <laughs> Besides painting gold on rocks, make them look like gold nuggets. <laughs> uh, I tried to find a pair of great big Bigfoot, rubber Bigfoot feet. Looked all over, I couldn't find any, but I wanted to come out here after the first snow and have my neighbor drop me off in his boat at the shoreline and come ashore wearing those Bigfoot feet early in the morning, fresh snow, <laughs> leaf tracks all over the place. <laughs> we couldn't find any feet. All I could find were chicken feet. Anyway, I had some devious ideas. I thought about, you know, when the tourists are starting to eat the red berries, I'd 
kind of walk by and say, oh my gosh, here in Alaska, if you eat the red ones, you're dead. Or something like that. Oh, I'm a devious person, I guess. Didn't do that either. Well, looks about the same as the last time I was in here. Yeah, quite a few ducks around this morning. Having a good time. I don't think they know I'm here yet. When the uh, tide is really high sometimes, I've come down here in the river high, I have seen big sea lions come this far up this river, almost to the bridge. Quite a few bald eagles in this park sometimes. I've got some great video. I'll probably cut some in on this footage. Well, they finally spotted me. Yeah, I used to come in this park early in the morning like this before the people showed up. There'd be all kinds of wildlife in here. Like I said, there'd be lots of, uh, lots of bald eagles around the trees and along the shore. There's even an eagle nest over here somewhere. I can remember where it's at. I think it's on the other side of the river. Good place for eagles. There he goes down. Everybody's looking for pieces or salmon or eggs or something in here this morning. Quite a bit of wildlife in here. My, I don't, don't really see a seal. Wish I'd gotten a better picture of him. This water oozle's having a good time. Here comes the seal. See him down in there? He's swimming around here in circles. Wish he'd come in a little closer. Oh, there's two seals in here. There goes another one. Yeah, the seal was after the coho. Spawned out. He's coming again. There he is, right there. The seal up in the river here hunting salmon. That was my seal. There he is there. Like I said, I've seen sea lion in here. Don't see seals very often. There he goes. Back down again. Cute little bugger. Water woozle. They walk on the bottom. Yeah, I missed a great shot of that seal a minute ago. He was right here in front of me. And then dove at a duck. <laughs> oh, gosh. Eh, he doesn't seem to be too interested in what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I see him coming. I see his wake out there. Here he comes. He's out there just swimming around in circles, not coming back up. I 
I see his wake down here, but I can't. He's not coming back up anymore. I don't know why. Well, that was exciting watching that seal. Just wish I had gotten a little bit better footage, but I'm so brushy and there were just places I couldn't get to. He's down below here. I can hear him splashing. I think the tide is going out and he's going out with the tide. He seems to be chasing cohos, I think, coming back. Dead enders. Yeah. I haven't been in here in quite a while. Wow, it's nice to have the sun hitting again. My gosh. Yeah, in the wintertime, there isn't a whole lot of fauna to look at. A lot of mushrooms back in here in the summer. A little pond over here. We'll check it out later, but I, I've seen a lot of critters around that pond. Mostly mink and... Uh, Whatever. I'm gonna go down here and see if we can't see that seal. I used to be able to get down to the river down here. I, it's kind of rough going, but I, I'm gonna see if I can't make it. Yeah, that seal's out here. I don't know. I just seen it go by. Can't seem to find a place to get a clear shot through the woods here. You see his wakes and stuff out there. Yeah, I'm having a hard time catching those seals are running so fast out there in that estuary. <sighs> Walk out here and have a look, see. An awful lot of got pretty good tide today. Got a shitload of duckies. I think they're all gonna jump here in a minute. Yeah, there's a pretty high tide here today. A lot of times when the tide was like this, I'd come up here and fly fish for coho and dollies. You know, used to hook quite a few of them. Best time would be September. Nice to see some winter scenes again, huh? Like snow and lots of it. Yeah, there's another seal out here somewhere. I think there's two or three run, running together. There go some eagles. i just in bad position as far as trying to get filming is concerned. Oop, I haven't seen anything out there. Over the years, I've videotaped a lot of minky in here. River otters. It's kind of like a little pond. Water seems to be moving a little bit like there's something out there, but I don't know, I don't see anything. I used to like to sit on these logs and soak up some sun. I don't see anything though. It's kind of nice seeing the sun. We've got a bald eagle out there flying around. Yeah, so far, maybe because the sun's come up in here, they're not coming this far up anymore. I don't see them. Lots of ducks and a few bald eagles diving around. I think they're trying to get duck too. 
with the sun coming out all the logs are steaming still don't see any sign of those critters those seals I think they're not coming up this far because the sun's up here now yeah we got us some, some I think some old bear poo over here oh yeah really old stuff though can't see much with it The way the sun's hitting and it's warming up all the wet logs. Everything's steaming around here. Looks like everything's on fire. <laughs> yeah, the woods is on fire. Huh. Little tiny stuff growing in here. Got a couple of swans sleeping over there. Well, yeah, they're eating now. Can hardly see them. All the trees here. Not much moving out there now. It looks like it's slack high tide. Yeah, the swans are taking a nap. Yeah, a long ways over there. Clear across the estuary. Yeah, we made it out here to the ocean. <laughs> yeah. High tide. Normally it's a big bar out there. Yeah, made it to the mouth of the Indian River, the estuary. A few ducks showing up out there. I got a seal, I believe, right there looking at me. Oh, yes it is. Yes, Mr. Seal. He's looking at me and seeing what I'm doing. Probably one of those that were in up, went up the river earlier. Looking at me, trying to figure me out. Yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do. I've got a little bit more zoom here but I can't hold the camera still there he goes anyway said he had enough of me and then up the river we've got the I got the swans up there that's about it right up in there well, there's another seal out here these must have been the two seals that were up the river chasing the salmon and the ducks They've dropped back down here in the estuary. <laughs> yeah. There's a, an interesting twisted tree for you. Wow. Well, I've got to get back up here to my walking machine. Well, here's the uh, Russian sailor and Eliot hunter Memorial killed during the Battle of the Kiksadi clan. Clinkett's here in 1804. And they arrived on a ship called the Neva. And I built a replica from scratch of the Neva, and it's down at the uh, Historical Society. If anybody wants to go down there to the Centennial Hall and take a look at it, that's where it's at. At least the last time I checked it was. Anyway, built it a number of years ago before my hands gave out and had to quit building models. But anyway, it's down the historical building, the Neva. 
Yeah, years ago, I spent a lot of time in this park. Summertime, spring, flowers, mushrooms, fungi, squirrels, timber tigers, birds, ducks, woodpeckers, I've seen owls, all kinds of things in here. Swans. Caught a lot of fish out in front here. On flies when I was fly fishing. <sighs> Pink salmon, chum salmon, cohos. Saw a few steel ahead, but I wouldn't fish for them. There's too few of them in the river. I think the most I've ever seen come up this thing is like 20 fish. Anyway, hasn't changed a whole lot over the years. Not a whole lot of fungi out now this time of year either. But there's some stuff to look at. Yeah, good to see the sun. Uh, work my back, back to the walker here. This thing's been working pretty good. I put a little more air in tires today. I got one tire that keeps going flat. I don't know why. Fascinating stuff here. This moss. Huh. Place is just covered with it.